Hello, good day everyone. Rohilio here, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to share to you Israel ABCs, a book about the people and places of Israel, written by Holy Schreiter, illustrated by Claudia Wolf. Shalom, peace. This is how Israelis greet one another in Hebrew. Marhaba, and this is how they say hello in Arabic. Israel's second official language. Israel is a small country in the Middle East. It is the only country in the world in which most people are Jewish. About 6 million people lived in Israel. It ranks 100th in world population. Hebrew and Arabic don't use the same letters that we use to write in English. This symbol is the way how Hebrew write Shalom. And this is how Marhaba is written in Arabic. A is for Abraham. Abraham was a Jewish leader. The story of his life is told in the Bible. Many Israelis believe Abraham started Israel about 4,000 years ago. After a time, most of the Jews were driven out of the land and scattered around the world. Since then, Many other peoples have lived in the area. Jews started coming back to the land in large numbers about 120 years ago. The country we know today as Israel began in 1948. Fast fact. Arabs are the second largest group of people in Israel. They believe Abraham's son Ismael was the first ancestor of their people. B is for Bedouin. Bedouins are Arab people who come from Israel's deserts. Some Bedouins still live much the way their ancestors did 1,500 years ago. They live in tents. They travel from place to place looking for food and water for their camel, goats, and sheep. Fast fact. Today, many Bedouins live towns. Some Bedouins work as tour guides on desert safaris. C is for cactus fruit. Israeli street vendors sell cactus fruit to hungry passers-by. A cactus fruit is called Sabar in Hebrew. Sabar is also a nickname for a person who was born in Israel. People joke that a native Israeli is prickly on the outside but sweet inside, just like cactus fruit. D is for the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea isn't really a sea. It is a very salty lake, about nine times saltier than the ocean. It is called the Dead Sea because no plants or fish can live in it. The water is so thick with salt that a person can float on top of it and read a magazine. Fast fact, the trip to the Dead Sea is so steep that people's ears pop as they're driving. The Dead Sea is the lowest place on earth at 1,339 feet, 408 meters below sea level. E is for Elat. Schools of colorful fish swim in the waters off the coast of Elat, a city on the very southern tip of Israel. People come from all around the world to snorkel by its famous coral reef. They wear special masks that let them breathe underwater. They spend hours watching beautiful creatures glide by. Fast fact, Elat is Israel's port to the Gulf of Agaba, which leads to the Red Sea. The port is very helpful because it gives Israel's ships a shortcut to Asia and Australia. F is for flag. The Israeli flag features the six pointed stars of David. The star is made up of two triangles on top of each other. One triangle is right side up and the other is upside down. There is a saying that just the triangles cannot be broken apart, neither can the Israeli people. Above and below the stars are blue stripes. These look like stripes in a Jewish prayer shawl. G is for gold dome. A gold dome shimmers in the skyline of Jerusalem, Israel's most famous city. The dome is coated with 176 pounds or 80 kilograms of real gold. It caps an ancient building called the Dome of the Rock. Muslims from all around the world go there to pray. They believe it marks the place where their leader, the Prophet Muhammad, 
went up to heaven. H is for Hebrew. 100 years ago, very few people spoke Hebrew. Hebrew had been the language Jews used in prayer. It hadn't been used in daily life for almost 2,000 years. With the creation of Israel, the Jewish people decided they needed one language they could all understand. They learned to speak their own original language. Fast fact, Hebrew was has 22 letters which are read from right to left. I is for Ibex. Part of fun of hiking in Israel's desert is trying to spot an Ibex. Hikers listen for the high whistling sound of this rare wild goat. They look for the male Ibex long curved horns. Fast fact, most of Israel's Ibex live on nature reserves. A nature reserve is a protected area of land where wildlife can live in peace. J is for Jerusalem. During the time of the Bible, Jerusalem was an important religious center. Today, the city is still rich with stories and landmarks from its long past. Jerusalem is a holy city for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Together, these groups make up more than half of all the people in the world. This is the scene from Jerusalem's old city. Most of the winding stone streets in this part of the city are too narrow for cars. K is for Knesset. The Knesset is Israel's ruling body of government. It is made up of 120 members. Israel has the president, but its most powerful leader is the prime minister. L is for Lunar Calendar. A lunar calendar doesn't begin in January and end in December. It has its own months, which are based on the places of the moon. Jews use a lunar calendar to figure out when their religious holidays are. Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, is the first day of the first lunar month. It falls in September or early October. A ram's horn or shofar is blown on Rosh Hashanah. M is for menorah. The menorah is a seven-branch candlestick. Almost every Jewish home has one. Menorahs are also displayed in public places around Israel. A huge bronze menorah stands near the Knesset in Jerusalem. It honors the state of Israel. N is for New Israeli Shekel. Israel's unit of money is called the New Israel Shekel. Shekelim is the word for more than one shekel. Shekelim come in coins and bills ranging in amounts from 1 to 200. One shekel is made up of 100 agorot, which are like pennies. Fast fact, Israeli money has Hebrew, Arabic, and English words on it. O is for outdoor markets. On narrow streets in Jerusalem's old city, tourists wander through crowded outdoor markets. The markets smell like spices and freshly baked bread. Arab vendors hand colorful scarves from the top of their small shops. They pile pillows, bowls, and other souvenirs right on top of the stone streets. Fast fact, the mild, dry weather in Israel lets people spend a lot of time outside. P is for Palestinians. Before 1948, Israeli was a country called Palestine, or Palestine. Palestinian Arabs had been living there for about 1,400 years. Today, about 4 million Palestinians live in Israel and areas under its control. Israelis and Palestinians fight about two, who should live on this land. Many people are working on the problem of how the Palestinians and Israelis can live together in peace. This Palestinian girl's checkered scarf is called kafia. The kafia is a symbol of Palestinian people. Q is for Qumran. In 1947, the Bedouin boy went into a cave and found some clay jars. Inside were parchment scrolls, which are in thin sheets of leather with writing on them. The scrolls had been written by Jewish people more than 2,000 years earlier. These early Jews lived in a place called Qumran. These scrolls, known as the Dead Sea Scrolls, are very famous. They help us discover 
what life was like during the time of the Bible. Because of the scrolls are so old, most of them are torn up like leaves. People have spent many years figuring out how to put the scrolls back together. R is for the River Jordan. In most places, the River Jordan is only about 5 feet or 1.5 meters deep. But this shallow muddy river is one of the most famous rivers in the world. According to the Bible, this is the river Jesus Christ was baptized. Today, Christians come from around the world to be baptized here as well. They stand in water while friends and family pray for them. Fast fact, some sections of the River Jordan have fast rushing water. People like to go rafting on these rough parts of the river. S is for Sabbath. Every Friday starting at sunset, almost all the businesses and restaurants in Israel close down. Friday evening is the beginning of Jewish Sabbath. The Sabbath or Shabbat is a day for resting. It ends after sunset on Saturday. Many Israelis spend the day picnicking or going to soccer games. Past fact, very religious Jews won't do anything that seems like work on the Sabbath. They won't drive a car or even turn on an oven. T is for theater. Per person, Israelis go to the theater more, more than people from any other country. Many shows in Israel are about the fighting between Israelis and the Palestinians. Theater helps Israelis understand the trouble in their country and feel better about it. U is for Upan. A lot of Israelis are Jews who have come from many different countries. Often new Israeli citizens don't speak Hebrew. And Upan is a special school for teaching Hebrew to newcomers. Most Upan are free for the first six months. V is for Via Dolorosa. Via Dolorosa means the Street of Sorrows. It is a famous street in Jerusalem. Christians believe Via Dolorosa is the road Jesus walked on his way to the place where he was put to death. They come from around the world to walk in Jesus' footsteps. W is for water. Farmers in Israel are always careful about using water. Because there are so few sources of water in Israel, Farmers try to grow crops that don't need much watering. They rely on a complicated system of canals, pipes, and tunnels to bring water from the north to the south. Much of Israel's dry desert land has been turned into lush, green farms. Fast fact, sometimes farmers even cover their plants with plastic to keep the plants from drying out. X is for exports. Oranges, Flowers and computer equipment are some of the main items that Israel exports or sells to other countries. Israelis also buy rough diamonds, cut and polish them, and then sell them again. The Israel Diamond Exchange is of the largest diamond markets in the world. Y is for a yarmulke. A yarmulke is a small round cap worn by some Jewish men and boys. The Hebrew word for yarmulke is kippah. The kippah can be beaded or made of cloth. It comes in different colors. Covering one's head with yamaka is meant a sign of the respect for God and for one's fellow Jews. Fast facts. Israelis can tell something about a man's beliefs by the kind of yamaka he wears. A black one, for example, shows he is very strict about following religious law. Z is for Zionism. Zionism is a movement started in 1897 by Tudor Herschel. His goal was to create a Jewish country. During World War II in 1939 to 45, Jews in Europe needed a place to go to get away from evil treatment by the Nazi government in Germany. Support for Zionist movement grew and Israel became a country. There you have it, boys and girls. Israel ABCs. I hope you have learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. But before we end, please don't forget to like, hit like and subscribe, and even share this video to your friends.
Thank you for watching. Bye.